Hey, what's up? Husband here, and I thought I'd dress up a bit for the occasion because next week it's Christmas. I really like Christmas. It's always a great time to be with family and friends. Chill a bit, don't work on music that much, but I think Christmas and the period between Christmas and New Year is also a great time to reflect a bit about all the things that I've done throughout this year and all the things that I wanted to do but couldn't do and make some plans for next year. This was a pretty important year for me. It was the first year that I decided to really do something that was totally my own, which was Rise of the Mad King. And with this, I tried to do something unique in the dance music industry or something partially unique that hasn't been done before. So I worked on a whole album and a whole story-driven musical journey with visuals, with a science fiction story, with all kinds of big euphoric melodies, dance music track, big film music tracks. And yeah, this was the year that, that finally came out. It was, I think I started it last year in January or something. I had the idea to do this as part of my graduation for school. And you know me, when I dig my heels into something, I want it to be really perfect. Almost all of 2017 I dedicated in creating the story, creating the music. And then this year was finally time to show it to the audience to you guys. I was really blown away by all the kind reaction, all the positive reactions regarding this because it was something that was really close to my heart. So I was really happy that all the things that I got back from it, all the positive reactions and it really motivates me to make a new chapter for it. So I'm really looking forward to continue that journey of Rise of the Mad King, that story which has like a little cliffhanger at the end, to continue that later on in the next year. But first thing in next year, I want to focus more on original music, more on collaborations, because for Rise of the Mad King, I've did most of the music myself, like totally myself, not working a lot with a lot of people. And I really like to be collaborative with other people. So that's one of the goals that I've set myself for next year. Also this year, I think three, four, five months ago, I started putting much more work into my YouTube channel, because I really like to give back a bit to you guys, to try to teach the things that I've learned throughout the years. I really try to give it across and help you improve your music. So I'm having a lot of fun with that at the moment. As you can see, like the past few months, I've been uploading regularly. Uh, reg regularly? Regularly. I've been uploading a lot of videos online, which I really see that you guys are enjoying. So that makes me really happy. So that's something I'm gonna definitely continue in 2019. And next to those YouTube videos, I also graduated from school, which was for me also a really big achievement because me and school did not go well together when I was little. I was always making music and I was also never studying and I tried all kinds of different schools, but nothing worked out until the Rock Academy. So I was really grateful to finally have finished something at least. This year was also the year that I started my Patreon channel, which I'm having a lot of fun with. Creating new sounds, presets, samples, MIDI files, dedicated tracks every month, you name it, it's on my Patreon channel. And for me, it's a really cool way to make a living as an artist, but still have everything in my own hand, not feel like I'm dedicated to some sort of a corporation to make a living out of my music. And this way I can really find my own way into this ever growing music branch and try to give you every month new sounds to use and help to improve your music. Also I'm sharing my knowledge via Skype sessions where I'm really didn't know that I would have so much fun in because um, I didn't like teachers in, in when I was young, but throughout the years at the Rock Academy, I, I learned to really appreciate a teacher. So that's for me a really great way to try to help other people like one-on-one -on -one, really go into their problems and help them with a different kind of set of ears, a different mindset and really help them find enjoyment in music again, which is a real pleasure for me to be able to do. In 2018, I'm planning to do even more with Patreon. I'm thinking about new rewards, new tiers, new goodies, new, you name it. I'm working on really cool stuff for you guys on my Patreon channel. So that's coming on in 2019. And the last thing that I did last year is actually something that I started in 2017. It's my production company, NHA Productions, where I do a lot of complete production, partial production, mixing and mastering for clients, which I enjoy really a lot, which is really helping me become a better producer, especially the partial production where I do like a collaborative thing with an artist where he's most of the time, he got a really cool idea, but he can't get it to sound technically where he wants it to go or has some arrangement problems. And I really notice that I really enjoy helping them create their vision in their head and making something really cool for it 
that eventually would get signed by a label. So been doing a lot this year and I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. The only way is up and I only got a lot of new plans for next year. So really looking forward to continue this journey with all of you, my YouTube watchers, my Instagram followers, my patrons especially, and then all the people that like to listen to my music. I really hope that 2090 will be as good or even better. So this would have been the end of the video, but I thought it's almost Christmas and I can't leave you guys with the last video of this year without giving you something for Christmas. So I made two bootlegs for you guys. One is a bootleg of Avicii Levels, a track that I've really enjoyed listening to in the past and a little dedication to Avicii. And I made a really cool bootleg, or at least I think it's pretty cool. A really bouncy bootleg of Ariana Grande's Into You. There will be one more thing that I'm going to do in this YouTube channel this year and it will be the live stream tomorrow at 18.30 Central European time where I will be doing some feedback. If you want to send in your music you can do so via the Instagram link in my bio. And then that's about it. And I'll see you guys on the next video in the next year. And if you want to subscribe you can do that as well. Subscribe, like, whatever you want. And then I'll see you guys next year. Take care. Bye-bye.